So yeah, I figured I'd come out here and make a video on my car trailer. Uh, this car trailer is a 2015 Doolittle. It's got the two 3,500-pound axles. 84 stands for 84 inches between the fenders. 18 feet long, so 16-foot deck. Two-foot dovetail. It's got the pull-out ramps in the back. Like I said, do little trailer. 2015. I don't exactly remember where these trailers are built. Um, do little, do little. It's somewhere. Oklahoma, maybe? Maybe? Oklahoma? Kansas? Something like that. Don't quote me on it. I don't know. I don't remember where these trailers are built. I know Weston Champlin, if you watch his channel, he's got a, a Doolittle trailer. Doolittle's real close to where he's at, so that's got to be Oklahoma or Kansas or something. But that's where these trailers are built. At the time, in 2015, this was like the cheapest the cheapest car trailer you could buy. I honestly don't remember what I paid for it. It was, it wasn't much. It was like 1900 bucks after taxes, maybe 2015. Maybe, I don't know. Don't quote me on that. It wasn't, it was under two grand, but you get what you pay for. Um, but I can't really complain. It's not, it's not super heavy duty. I mean, about all I can haul is a Ford Ranger or small car. But uh, back in the day, I used to be real big in that uh, parting out these Ford Rangers. Ford Ranger. Ford Ranger on the other side of that Jetta. Uh, I legit probably parted out 30 of these within a 10 year span here in Ohio. Um, if you paid attention a lot to Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace, you probably seen my ads for parting out Rangers. I still got people that text me or call me uh, saying, hey man, you know, I bought Ranger parts off you five, six years ago. Just want to know if you still have some parts. And it's like, I, I've i talked to so many people over the years. I don't remember who's who or who I sold what to. But these Ford Rangers at one point, I could pick these up all day in Ohio for anywhere from 150 bucks to 500 bucks. Either with a blowed motor, bad transmission or bad frame. And they parted out well. Uh, I'm not a Ford guy by any means. I mean, we got one that we drive that we piece back together, but Ford Rangers, being a Ford, everybody needs parts for them and there's plenty of them, or there were. You know, they're getting a little harder to find now they're not all rotted out. But uh, most of them trucks were hauled on this car trailer. I probably did 30 Rangers, like I was saying. Part them out, get my money back out of them, and then uh, just crush what was left. Or even, heck, I just gave them to people. I part them out, make money on them, and then just give what's left to somebody that would haul it off. But uh, this car trailer, has done me pretty well. It's never left me stranded. Uh, I've had it overloaded way too many times. This rear axle is actually bent now. This rear axle is actually bent on this driver's side. This axle's bent. You can tell by how the tire's wearing. You see how the inside tire is completely flat? And then in the, this side, it's still got tread. 
add axles bent on this side. So instead of the normal frowny face shape that the axle should have, it's more of a U shape, but it's a U on the end there where this is bent. It was bent when I hauled my uh, $400 forklift back from Bowling Green, Kentucky. Way too much weight for this trailer. Way too much weight. Jesus. Uh, that was a sketchy, sketchy trip. Then you're asking, what are these steel plates doing on the deck? Well, I never treated this deck. I just hauled cars on it and never did stain it or nothing. So by the time that I hauled that forklift, and I bought that forklift two, two and a half years ago, when we... Uh, loaded that forklift onto this trailer. We used a big diesel forklift to load it and set it down on there. It fell through the floor. So we had to go back to my dad's buddy's house. He had a house in Bowling Green, Kentucky, and we jacked it back up and put these steel plates down. And uh, that's one thing I don't like about this trailer. It's not on 12 foot centers or, you know, Each cross member is 16, 16, um, 16 foot centers instead of 12 foot centers. So, you know, you got to support here, support here, nothing but wood, and then the support here. And where I had the forklift, that counter, that counterweight was right here, and that's where it fell. It fell through. Right here, I think I had it had it too far forward at the time. Yeah, you can see where part of that hole right there in the deck is. So it's not real. The trailer is not real sturdy. It's real flimsy. I mean, I can stand on it and you can watch the whole thing flex. So it's really a it's really a cheaply cheaply built trailer, but. Uh, my main complaint with the trailer was the wiring. Now, like I said, this was a stripped down trailer. It didn't have any LED lights on it. It had some normal cheap lights. So I didn't even have it a year and I was having problems. It was blown fuses in the truck. It had shorts. So I had to redo all the wiring. My old man did most of the work. We did all these LEDs. Put these lights off. These lights are like off a dump truck or something. These are all LEDs. These are all double grounded behind there. At the time, we did a real good job on this wiring job. You know, we wired some of these lights up on the headache rack. But, you know, as time went on, you know, we had these heat shrinked, but then, you know, roadside repairs, you use the quick splices when you shouldn't. Had some other roadside repairs where we kind of half-assed tried to fix it on the side of the road, lights and stuff. I mean, all the lights, I mean, the lights work, but that's not how it should be. That box should be enclosed, but I had to redo all that within the first year of ownership. But other than that, powder coating's held up pretty decent. I mean, for it being in Ohio for all these years, it's not super rusty. So I guess what I'm saying, this trailer for what it's done and where it's been, it has been well worth the, I, I swear it was 1,900 bucks what I paid for this after taxes. And uh, I added the spare tire mount. I've went through a couple set of tires on this thing. These are not real heavy duty tires. They're, they wear out pretty quick. These ain't the best spares, but they'd get you off the side of the road. But that's the best looking tire on the trailer. It really needs another set of tires. It really it needs a new new axle, rear axle. I'm thinking about upgrading the axles. Uh, heavier set these 3500 pound axles ain't cutting it 
and I'm thinking about ripping the deck off and redoing all the cross braces, adding more supports, because like I said, it's too flimsy. Ramps are damaged, they're, they're, they're bent up so bad. When I hold that Dodge back from Kentucky when I bought it, uh, they were already bent from when we were load, unloaded the forklift. That uh, truck pretty much finished them off. I had to lay them upside down on the concrete and drive back over to bend them back out. But uh, I really ain't got no complaints. Um, like I said, for the amount of vehicles towed on it, it's towed a forklift. It's towed that three quarter ton Dodge, which is way overweight for this thing. It told that, towed that TDI when I bought it. Uh, towed about 30 of them Ford Rangers. Uh, my grandpa bought a 57 Chevy Bel Air. I towed it back with this trailer. Uh, what else has it towed? It's towed that truck when I bought it. It's towed that CRV when I bought it. It's towed. It's towed this Ranger. It's towed this Volkswagen. It's towed that reload cube I bought off work. This is the forklift it towed back from Bowling Green. That thing's 8,000 ish pounds. Towed that Ranger. Towed that Ranger. Um, so it's done it all. It's definitely been overloaded. Um, I've lent it out to a couple friends. Like I said, it was a good enough trailer or a, a cheap enough trailer where you didn't worry about lending it out to friends, which everybody that borrowed it always took care of it. Had a couple buddies take it to, took it, took it to Kentucky. One buddy took it to Texas. It's been to Texas and back. It's been to, oh, North or South Carolina, I can't remember. Like I said, I picked up that 57 Chevy Bel Air in Tennessee with it. Been all over Ohio. I'm near Dayton, Ohio. It's been as far as Cleveland, uh, Sandusky, Hocking Hills, Ohio. It's been all over Ohio. This thing's got some miles on it. So, I mean, you can make do. You don't have to have the biggest, heaviest trailer to make do but like i said when hauling that forklift in this truck it was a little sketchy i had to put that truck this truck actually I had to back it on backwards if you've seen some of my previous videos I had to back it on backwards and it was it was squatting so bad where this axle's bent these tires were almost touching these fenders but Other than that, there wasn't been too much damage to the trailer. Like I said, I don't beat. I drive truck professionally, so I know how to back a trailer up and stuff, so it ain't beat up the fenders. You know, most of these trailers by this time, the, the fenders are all beat up. And but I think I got my money's worth out of it. I'm. I think I'm still going to redo this trailer and just keep it as a backup slash one that I'd let friends borrow, probably. I think I want to order a, a new Diamond C maybe next year. Diamond C or a Max D, I don't know which one I want. It seems like Diamond C is the best. 
but they also charge the best price. I think I built one on their website the other day. It's just a hydraulic dampening, 24 foot one with the, oh, the dampening part was like 16 feet or whatever and 20,000 pound rating and flip of winch and everything. I think it was like $24,000. $24,000, 1,900 bucks for this thing in 2015. So I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna do it or not because I don't do this, I don't tow as much as I used to. And uh, these Rangers are harder to find, to part out, and I don't really have much of a desire to do it anymore. So, but I got nothing bad things to say about them. Uh, you know, like I said, it's like your cheaper brands. The, oh, like in this, in the Ohio area, what would you call it? like a quality trailer brand or an AMO trailer brand, something like that, like your, your basic run of the mill things. So I already, I peeled all the do little stickers off. Them stickers didn't last a year, but other than me overloading it and been in the axle, this trailer has been a, a good trailer. I did have to redo the lights. Like I said, I put all these lights on it. You know, the lights here and there, those lights that my dad had. It needs a new deck. This original deck, it's never been stained. And I don't know. I figured I'd just get on here and babble about this thing. You can tow quite a bit with the 7K trailer. But, alrighty. Or just get on here and babble a little bit about this trailer. All right, we'll see you.